Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today, we'll be reviewing some random monster action figures for Monster Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. Yeah, I couldn't help that. First on the list, we got a 90s alien figure. And man, this is an epic figure. I did not have an alien in my collection, and I got this for free. So, I love alien that much. He's got bendable knees. Bendable elbows. Arms can move out. It's the best 12-inch alien I've ever seen. Only one I've ever seen. But yeah, this is based on the 90s Aliens movies. And I'm so glad to have my first Alien. Sure, it's not the black one with the tail, but I like it. I really dig it. I like it, and I dig it. And that's all there is to say for that first figure. Next on the list, we got this knockoff shark that just reminds me of the man-eater himself. Jaws, bum 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 bum. Couldn't help the theme song to Jaws with this guy. No articulation at all, so he's gonna be a quick figure. Next, we got this Mecha Predator. And he's a predator. I have never had a predator action figure in my collection at all. And I got this from the Monroeville Exchange for about two bucks. And he's worth that kind of money. Next, we got this soldier girl that reminds me of one of the alien soldiers. If I can get her to hold, her, hold the gun I gave her. Which she doesn't like holding her gun, and I swear to God, it's a pain in my neck when she doesn't hold her gun, so you can go pew, pew, bang, bang. But I got her to hold it now, but she's an epic action figure. I do like her. Bend at the knee, no elbow articulation. Head can slightly move. But other than that, not a bad figure. I got her from the exchange as well, so... I love finding some epic figures at the Monroeville Exchange. So yeah, cool figure indeed. Next, we have this 12-inch soldier. I don't know what line he's from, but he's pretty cool. Bend at the knee. You get some good articulation poses out of him. Because he's got so much articulation. I've never seen a figure with this much articulation before. Head can move. Not on a ball joint. But he can go, take this alien. Like that with the Gatling gun. Since I didn't have a gun that would fit him, I used this Gatling gun on him. Because he's a big, big figure. Oh, come on. Big figure dropping his gun. That's all there's to say for him. And last but not least, we got the figure coup de gras. My favorite monster of all time. It's Godzilla. I have my first ever Godzilla action figure. This is the 2015 version. So this thing is roughly seven years old by today's standards. We get move at the leg a little bit. His leg moves a bit. His tail moves quite a bit. Some movement out of the tail. Arms. Can move slightly, 
but due to the body, it can't move much, and the head can't move, which is a shame, really. But I highly dig this figure, knowing I got this for free. Are you wondering I'm going to track down another Godzilla, maybe in the future? I would love to track down the Godzilla movie from the 90s, Godzilla, because I love that design. And he's the only one I don't have. So yeah, a lot of epic figures today for good old 2015. For good old, sorry I've had to correct myself quite a bit, 2023. So yeah, I've collected a lot of figures as of 2023. And are these monster figures worth adding to your collection by my standards? I think so. No one, I paid no money for them. I got them for quite the... Quite the fines, if I do say so myself. And this is Eddie Hill. Before I move on, we're going to show off what we're going to do next week for review week. Next week, we're going to be doing, if I can get this to work with me, X-Men from the 90s. Yes, we got some 1980s X-Men. This is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out. YouTube bland.